What up, y'all? It's a big pun morning. The sun is shining. It's a chilly New York, New Jersey morning. That's what it is. Your main man, Coach Fox, in the car, on the way to work. Get that bread. Yo, family, it's Nick Knight. Yo, I'm saying, I'm smiling. Because we got a game tonight. I know there was games played yesterday, and that's all well and good. Nets played yesterday, that's great. We played tonight. And we win tonight. We have surpassed last season. To me, that's... I'm excited about the rest of this season. I ain't going to be complaining about time and minutes and personnel. Not the rest of this season. I'm done with that. I'm completely done with that. I am going to enjoy watching my team play these next 27 games. Hopefully they bring their heart and their soul to every game. That's all I want to see. That's all I want to see. You know, I have a feeling that minutes and stuff will change. Come on. So, pardon me, I had to do some traffic stuff just now. Uh, but yeah, I'm just plain excited about seeing my guys go to work. You know, I've been hearing a little lot about Kevin Knox and even on my Google this morning, there was some nonsense. Oh, Kevin Knox is in trouble. I'm tired of that crap. No, no more of that crap rest of the season. Nobody's in trouble. Nobody's not. Let the kids play. Let them enjoy themselves on the court. I mean, honestly, so much pressure is put on these guys from the media, from the fan base for, for winning and shit and stuff. Of course, I, yeah, no doubt. But sometimes I feel like, it, it, no, we, I'm not going to crash the fan base. I, we've had our conversations. We know. But sometimes I just feel like these players actually see all of the comments and all of the little mini articles and all of the threads. And I'm like, if I was a player, you know, even knowing what kind of talent I got inside, seeing that sometimes could be very deflating. You know, and I, I'm starting to realize that, that, you know, we got to kind of relax sometimes. Sometimes, when it's deserved, go all out. When it's deserved, hit it. But sometimes, like, they were on break for like a whole week, and we still had time to talk about flaws in people's games. They couldn't even get a respite from that on a, on a week off. Didn't play no games. But at the same time, I saw Lambondi and them been firing Mike Miller all week as well. With Jay Wright, where we absolutely knew that there was no legs to that Jay Wright story. And then here they come. Oh, see, there's no legs to this. We knew that when y'all daggone released the article. We are not stupid. And we are tired of you guys throwing those tired, weak, behind agendas. And literally, day one, it was Jay Wright. The next day, it was Tom Thibodeau. Same, same writers, same company. Like, then yesterday, a new one came out from those folks. By Alan, Alan Houston. Like, Leon Rose has not taken office yet. We know that because he's waiting for... D. Wade's retirement ceremony with the jersey and everything, which is supposedly happening this weekend. So he may not take office until next week or like one March. So no decisions are being made. None. How can you when the daggone decision maker is not in office yet? You know, and all this, oh, see, they're going to let Perry go or all of that. Listen. Stop. We got 17 wins. We've got 27 games left. That's what this season is about right now. These last few games. We want to. I know some of y'all want them to purposely lose games so we don't mess up the lottery choice chances. I hear you. I'm not in that little bucket. We're, we're going to be in the lottery anyway. My thing is this. 
we've got the draft picks, so we can move up if we want to. Or if there's somebody we really want to go get. So to me, the draft position is not the most important part of this conversation. But we've got a great future that we're rolling into, I feel like. I personally feel that way. I like Mike Miller. He may not be the guy after this summer, but he's definitely the guy right now. And he's definitely gotten these guys clicking. Randall had some really glowing words to say about him. You know what I mean? Listen, let this be. Let this happen. Let's see what this is. Let's enjoy it. You know, we got to have some enjoyment in our lives. And I'm sorry. If you can enjoy watching the Nets play basketball, you can enjoy watching your Nets. You can enjoy watching your Nets. You know, I mean, we may not win every game going forward. I still love my team. I'm always going to be a diehard. And diehards, if you're a diehard, don't be a casual. That's all I'm saying. You know, if you claim to be a diehard, don't be a casual. Don't start telling me about 20 years and blah, blah, blah. Don't be a casual. I love y'all. You got a game tonight. I hope y'all enjoy it. I will holler at y'all at the next time.